What's up guys, welcome to Products Room. Sony's own DualSense is pretty great, but there are a plethora of other options offering customization opportunities or more enjoyable playing experiences in specific games. We've concocted a list of the best controller choices out there, so whether you're taking your PlayStation 5 to the track, the skies, or combat, you'll have the ideal controller for the job. Even if you're using it as yet another streaming device for Netflix because you're tired and don't want to do anything to stress out your last remaining brain cell, we've got you covered. So be sure to stay till the end to discover our favorite PS5 controllers. Now, let's get started. The first product on our list is PlayStation DualSense Wireless Controller. For now, there is no other controller as perfectly suited to take advantage of the capabilities of the PS5 as the DualSense controller. However, Sony has announced the DualSense Edge, a higher-end version of the original offering more customization opportunities that may just nab the top spot upon its release. Still, the original DualSense is a highly capable gamepad that happens to be relatively affordable at $70. It's not just another simple wireless controller with a couple of rumble motors to let you feel when action is happening in the game but an actual haptic device that does a much more compelling job simulating the action. The PS5 DualSense controller will feel similar in the hand to the DualShock 4, making a comfortable adjustment for many gamers. The chassis is large, with a textured grip and responsive buttons. But, when games take advantage of the pad's capabilities, it'll go beyond being a simple input device. The haptic feedback is part of that, though there are also adaptive triggers that can adjust resistance on the fly. You might find it easier to pull the trigger when your character is holding a pistol and a lot harder to pull the trigger when you're wielding a longbow. All of this can serve to pull you further into the game. The only major fault of Sony's device is the less than stellar battery life, which gives you about 10 to 13 hours of juice between charges. The next product on our list is Scuff Reflex Pro. The DualSense controller is great and all, but maybe you want to step out of the Sony bubble and try something new. That's where the Scuff Reflex Pro comes in. This gamepad offers everything you love about Sony's DualSense, like adaptive triggers that adjust based on the game you're playing and a super accurate rumble. However, there are a few additional features and customizations to further improve gameplay. Just be prepared to shell out a bit more cash for this controller. From the front, the Reflex Pro looks almost identical to our top pick, with virtually the same buttons, D-pad, touchpad, and triggers. But with this option, you can swap out the convex analog sticks for concave, giving you a slightly different feel. The back is where things get shaken up further, as there are four manually programmable paddles that are easy to reach and removable. These paddles are perfect for everything from shifting and racing games to swapping weapons in FPS. You also get a rear bumper with a button that lets you switch between three configuration profiles, optimizing the controller for those games along with sports. Unfortunately, you don't get any software to make further customizations, like adjusting trigger sensitivity or remapping all the buttons. This gamepad also offers slightly more textured grips than the DualSense to ensure the remote stays in hand during the more heated moments in your games. The next product on our list is Victrix Pro BFG Wireless Controller. Do you want a controller that you can easily tune to best fit your gaming preferences? Then the Victrix Pro BFG is the gamepad for you, as it features a modular design that lets you go for the traditional DualSense layout, or using the included screwdriver, you can switch it around to have offset joysticks. It doesn't stop there either, thanks to the inclusion of a fight pad module to swap in if you prefer mashing six micro switch buttons, while there are also two additional D-pads, analog sticks, and octagonal gates to find your ideal feel. The Victrix Pro BFG is much more modular than the DualSense, but you lose some functionality with its lack of rumble and adaptive triggers. To help remedy this slight flaw, the triggers have a switch allowing you to choose five different stopping points for actuation, including a simple tap, which is handy for shooters. You'll also find this officially licensed by Sony controller seamlessly connects with the PS5 wirelessly, and can store three profiles for button mapping and audio preferences. The next product on our list is AIM Controller's customized PS5 DualSense controller. Do you have fingers that are a little trigger happy? Maybe it's time to lean into that with AIM Controller's customized PS5 DualSense controller. You basically just mod out Sony's DualSense controller through AIM to make it perfect for you, which means it'll still work seamlessly with the PS5. It's super convenient if you're into FPS games, as you can tune the triggers and bumpers to have a shorter travel distance. That quicker actuation allows you to annihilate opponents more efficiently. There's even an option to add removable paddles on the back, providing more functionality to the controller. These paddles are a bit flimsy and easy to accidentally press, but after you get the hang of them, they can be remapped and give you a huge advantage in shooters. AIM Controller's customized PS5 DualSense controller lets you choose the stylings right down to some of the most minute details, from buttons and sticks to the large blank surfaces that make up the rest of the controller. In some cases, you can go for transparency or even a special bullet casing style. 
If that's not enough, custom logos and gamer tags can also go onto the controller to make the dual sense uniquely yours. Just be prepared to be fully committed to the changes because after you shorten the trigger pulls or make the buttons low profile, it's permanent. The next product on our list is Hex Gaming Custom Esports Rival Controller. If you want to take the DualSense controller to the next level without managing the customizations yourself, the Hex Gaming Rival gets it done. It's a highly altered DualSense controller, coming with major aesthetic changes as well as some performance changes to give you a leg up on the competition. The final product exudes quality, but with all that greatness comes a high cost, so be prepared to shell out a good chunk of change for these mods. Although it's expensive, the upgrades that Hex Gaming makes to the DualSense may just be worth the splurge. To start, you'll get a ton of different skin options to find a style that suits you, and a more pronounced rubberized grip makes the gamepad easier to hold. Each controller also comes with different thumbsticks that offer varying height and shape options, so you can change them depending on the feel you're going for. You'll be first to shoot in competitive gaming with the hair triggers available on the Hex Gaming Rival, though you lose the haptic feedback that's enjoyed in single-player experiences. You can also keep your thumbs on the analog sticks more often with the remappable paddle buttons on the back of the controller. Even with all the changes made to the buttons, triggers, and bumpers, everything still remains tactile. The next product on our list is Thrustmaster T248 Racing Wheel. When you want to floor it in your favorite racing games, pulling a trigger just isn't going to cut it, and that's where the Thrustmaster T248 racing wheel comes in. This racing wheel doesn't come cheap, but you'll get a versatile, precise, high-performance system for your money. It offers full support for the PS5 and provides all the handy controls that line up with those displayed in the game. And setup is simple, so you'll be hitting the pavement in no time. Once you're on the road, you can enjoy the leather-wrapped wheel, and you'll have to hold on tightly because the force feedback system combines a belt and gear mechanism for realistic, powerful feedback. You can even switch between three different force feedback modes on the wheel, letting you feel a bit more oomph if you want to. Helping to keep your car under control, you'll find highly sensitive magnetic paddle shifters and a variety of extra easy-to-reach buttons, 25 in total. There's even a built-in display at the center of the wheel to show in-game stats like your engine's RPM or speed. To complete the kit, you get a quality magnetic three-pedal set with four different pressure modes from the brake. The next product on our list is Victrix Pro FS Arcade Fight Stick. There's a lot to be said for playing certain games on an old-school fight stick. Games with a ton of taps and ultimate combos, like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter, really benefit from this type of controller. For PS5, the Victrix Pro FS is the best option, giving you the feel of playing on an arcade cabinet. It's insanely responsive with minimum input lag, so you shouldn't notice any delay in the heat of a tense battle round. The Victrix Pro FS is stylish as hell, with this iteration offering a sturdy metal chassis that immediately makes it stand out from the crowd, not to mention the purple glow that comes out on each side. The simple face buttons fit well with the overall aesthetics of the PS5 and can hold up to my manic, demon-like button mashing, as it totes all quality SAM parts from the 8 front buttons to the stick. Tinkering with components is relatively easy with a door that opens so you can get the ultimate feel for this fight stick. The next product on our list is Hori PS4 Hoda's Flight Stick. If you're looking to get deep into your favorite flight sims or space dogfighting on the PS5, Hori's PS4 Hoda's flight stick is ready. Sony officially licenses it, so you know this bad boy will work with your PS4 or PS4 games on your PS5. The controller totes all the controls you'll need for the system, including a touchpad. You don't just get a joystick but also a throttle, letting you get both hands in on the action for under $200. You'll be up in the air in no time, as the Hori PS4 Hoda's flight stick is simple to get the hang of and provides flexibility for your flying setup. The throttle and stick are on two separate bases, so you can space them out as needed. The bases include suction cups to hold them in place on your desk, table, or custom cockpit. You can also customize the sensitivity of both the throttle and joystick, letting you dial in the responsiveness you want for your aircraft or spacecraft. The flight stick will also encourage you to perform your best, as it includes a vibration motor, so you'll feel it when you're under fire. The next product on our list is PlayStation 5 Meteor Remote. Your PlayStation 5 is a fantastic gaming machine, but it can do even more sitting at the heart of your entertainment setup. Beyond games, the PlayStation 5 offers access to a host of streaming media and even can serve as a 4K UHD Blu-ray player, assuming you have the PS5 version with a disk drive. You can navigate all of this with the DualSense controller, but it's not labeled for that, so the PlayStation 5 Meteor Remote can serve as a better comrade when you're done gaming and just want some passive entertainment. 
the PlayStation 5 Media Remote gets you streaming in no time with dedicated buttons to launch Netflix, Disney+, and YouTube, or even Spotify if you want some jams. It totes media playback controls clearly labeled as well, so no more guessing which button on your controller pauses the movie. This controller can even do something your DualSense can't. Adjust your TV's volume, as it has a built-in IR transmitter to control the volume on compatible TVs. The next product on our list is DualSense Charging Station. This product is definitely a purchase of convenience more than anything else, as plugging in multiple DualSense controllers can be a bit of a hassle. And if it's similar to the DualShock 4, it could actually prevent damages, as setting the DualShock 4 down for a long time on a hard surface with the USB charge cord plugged in would sometimes bend the charging port and more or less brick the controller. With DualSense Charging Station, this is a non-issue. You can rest two DualSense pads in a sturdy, streamlined little trough that uses the same shapes and colors as the console itself, so it blends right in. The controllers should be fully juiced up in about 3 hours, though it doesn't charge faster than its USB-C cord. This station is handy if you pick up an extra DualSense, so you can enjoy uninterrupted gaming by hot swapping one controller while the other is charging. But if you've only got one controller, the DualSense Charging Station probably isn't a necessity. Alright guys, that's all for now, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. And this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like, and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this in the future. I hope to see you guys in the next video, till next time, see you later.